y'all. I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your weekly elemental readings, okay? I was supposed to do them yesterday. Well, I wasn't supposed to. I don't know. I do what spirit tell me to do, okay? <laughs> um, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It's greatly loved and appreciated. God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light only, you're welcome into this reading. Please give... The Earth signs the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Also, I do not own the rights to any music that you may hear in this video, okay? Because my mic is new, okay? I don't know where the volume is at with it. But when I did a little sound check, you know, it seemed like the mic picked me up a lot more than it did the music. But it always seems like that. So I record a whole video on push play and be like, damn, they gonna copyright me. <laughs> so... Anyways, um, yesterday I was tearing up a box and Spirit gave me, it was numbers on the box, okay? So Spirit gave me four numbers, a number for each sign. And y'all number is 705, okay? So <clears throat> 705 means to number in Greek, okay? That's the Greek meaning of it. So when I looked at the number... I mean, when I looked at the little page thing, okay, that's all I really got. I mean, I got a scripture too. I got Matthew 26 through 33. It says, continue. Oh, oh, it was a summary of it. Okay, let me, let me read the actual scripture first. So it says, and the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows, okay? And then it made me, I'm going to just go back, okay? So then I'm going to just listen to spirit, do what they want me to do, okay? So then that made me look into to the sparrow, okay? The sparrow, the sparrow represents joy, community, teamwork, protection, simplicity, hard work, or self-worth, okay? It says sparrows and numbers have been in decline, and they're especially spotted in urban parks where people frequently feed them, okay? Um, also, sailors used to get sparrow tats in case they died at sea, so the sparrow would catch and carry their souls, okay? I thought that was really sweet and beautiful, <laughs> So, um, the summary of Matthew 10, 30 through 31, well... It was, it's not really the summary of that. This is just the scripture that Spirit gave me. But then they also led me to the summary of 26 through 33. And it says that, uh, it says, continues Jesus's encouragement. As he sends the 12 out with his authority, he commands the apostles to proclaim far and wide what he whispers to them now. Persecution will come to them now. Oh no, persecution will come to them, but... They must not be afraid, okay? Their enemies can only kill their bodies. They should fear God instead and understand that their father cares for them. He will see if they fall. Jesus declares that he too will acknowledge to his father everyone who acknowledges him to others. Those who deny his identity as God's son, however, he will also deny, okay? So don't, oh, what made me write Santa Claus is coming to town? Oh, cause it says, um, he will see. And I was like, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. So it's like, God sees everything. Okay. He sees everything. He know if you bad or good, he watch over you when you sleep and when you're showering at all times, he's always there. So um, also make sure that you're cleansing your energy often. Okay. And make sure that you're being of service to yourself and to others, you know, but you have to be of service to yourself. It says, um, self-care is very important. Also, that makes me want to tell you about, <laughs> that makes me want to tell you about this tea that I got. Okay. It's called Beauty Brain Beautifying Botanicals. I do not get paid to, um, advertise anything. Okay. I just like to share the stuff that spirit has me get you know they really don't have me do nothing for no reason i keep saying that i'm telling y'all it's facts everything that they have me do is like so crazy it trips me out how tied in it all be together okay but i got the lemon balm kiwi kind which is you know um 
the brain boosting one. It says brain boosting ginkgo biloba, biloba and lion's mane mushroom. So brain boosting ginkgo biloba and lion's mane mushroom. Okay, I told you they love having me look at stuff I can't read. Stress relieving lemon, bre- lemon balm, okay, and rejuvenating blue spirulina. And when I looked up spirulina, okay, spirulina is algae. Um, it says that the biloba contains antioxidants, which may increase memory function. The lion's mane mushroom is used in Chinese traditional medicine to support brain health. The lemon balm, um, long used to promote calmness and alertness. The kiwi contains folic acid, which can improve mood, memory, and brain function. The white hibiscus, natural hydration for supple skin. Blue spirulina, this top superfood, can benefit both skin and cognitive health. Okay, they said, and then show it to That's all smiling because they're like, okay, then show it to <laughs> So, I guess that's your commercial from Spirit. They told me to tell, like, every every sign, too. So, next, they told me to look. I wrote, look up the angel number 705. Because, like I said, that was just the Greek meaning of the number. Telling you jokes for hours. And now, now. Oh, guys. I got 100 subscribers. So, thank you. I'm so excited. I feel like I got a million subscribers right now. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. Because I really put a lot into this, you know. I, I really follow what Spirit tells me to do, okay. And they are relentless with the communication sometimes. So I'm so glad that, you know, you guys are getting what you need. Um, so it says 705 tells that it is time to be rid of old restraints, constraints, and outdated thought patterns and beliefs. And brings a message of self-expression, release, and surrender. Um, y'all need to surrender. Just surrender, like, just listen to spirit. That's why they had me. <laughs> See, they be, like I'm telling you, they don't do nothing for no reason. They guide you to do what you need to do, okay? Always. It says, um, 705 suggests that changes currently taking place in your life have been divinely guided, and you are being asked to follow your intuition and guidance from the angels in regards to the next important steps to take. Be open to receiving knowledge from unusual and unexpected sources and stay alert to interesting new experiences, surroundings, and people. Be open to fresh revelations, epiphanies, light bulb moments, and intriguing notions and ideas and listen to your intuition. Um, brings the message of your angels to from your angels to confidently follow the promptings of your intuition and gut feelings trust your inner wisdom to lead and guide you through changes that will bring about positive outcomes on many levels this is what i'm saying this is why they had me just telling you like i do whatever spirit tells me to do and it's really worth it like it really does work you know what i'm saying um so it says flower crown wear your power proudly and unapologetically for it is your birthright and is eternal like the soul, okay? So put your crown on, okay? Make sure you're wearing your crown. Look, surrender, okay? It says, um, there's nothing more blissful than the act of letting go and setting yourself free of all that doesn't serve you. It's like release whatever does not serve you. I promise you that you really don't need it, okay? You don't need it. It says maiden. Demand what is yours and take back what was taken. Reclaim until you've gathered all of you exactly. Call back your energy. You need to call back your energy. I seen this thing that one of these people, one of these readers, I think, posted. Um, and I took a screenshot of it because I liked the wording of it, okay? It says, I call back my power and energy from all corners people, places, and situations that have been draining, siphoning, or stealing from me consciously or subconsciously, intentionally or unintentionally, from all realms, worlds, and directions of time. I am safe, sovereign, and protected, so shall it be, okay? Tarot, T with Empress something, I don't know. It didn't say the whole thing. Well, I mean, it just, like, has the little dots. But yeah, she posted that, and I I really liked that. I thought that that was 
great wording. That's that's a great thing to say to call back your energy. So um, you guys also got the bear, okay? It says strength, family, virality, courage, and health, okay? The bear is thoughtful and independent with little need for fellowship. The bear is also self-contained and strong-willed in nature, a bear is of great support and comfort to those who crave human company simply for personal reassurance rather than the simple pleasure of being with friends. He makes lonely periods of life far easier. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, don't make sure that you're not giving somebody all of your energy and time, you know, just so they don't feel lonely. Like anybody that you deal with should feel whole in themselves they should be just fine being alone you know being alone is the first thing <laughs> that you have to accept okay um it says for it lives in the silk of my binding the knots in my truth the eye of becoming the eyewitness swallowed in stillness i have no idea what exactly <laughs> i'm supposed to, i'm supposed to get from that let me War is in my mind, no words in my mind, mind. Yeah, avoid going back and forth with yourself, okay? Don't have a war in your mind going on. It says, Dear Sacred Soul, ribbons remind you that you already know the answer to what you have inquired about. You are connected to your situation in a way that makes it clear what your next steps should be. So follow the signs, or in this case, the ribbons, and allow the truth of your query to come to your consciousness. Um, trusting your ability to see what you need at this moment. It may be scary or require more of you than you'd hope, but you can move forward with the knowledge that this path is for your greatest good and will lead you to success. Additionally, pulling this card means the signs have been around you for some time waiting for you to invite them into your awareness. Be especially mindful of any colors, animals, numbers, or feelings that cro crop up repeatedly as they are messages from the divine guiding you to the truth of your situation, okay? So always pay attention to the signs. I say that all the time too. Make sure that you're looking, really looking, really, you really, this is some shit you really have to um, like put work and time into. That's why they call it doing the work, okay? Cause it's not easy. It's really like, it's really like doing the work to really get to the real truth, okay? To really break out of the matrix, you have to really be willing to do research, okay? To follow the signs that they're sending you. That's why it ain't for the faint of heart or for the lazy or for the weak. So B, it's for the royalty. <laughs> it's for the royalty, period. It says, don't drink all of life from one flower, for there are many to taste and many to explore. Exactly. It's like, do not put yourself in a box, you know? Like... There's no shape or mold that can contain you. You're meant to wear multiple hats, okay? To be able to switch your mind to many different types of, you know, points of view. Um, to just, just be feeling downright orgasmic all day. Like, it says... Thrust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to your renewal, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so dirty, but it's not even nothing with them just putting a finger in the in the flower, but the fact that they just put orgasm on there, okay? Maybe some of you are like celibate, okay? And you need to um, put your finger on the flower, okay? Or, you know, the wand. <laughs> Love yourself. You know what I'm talking about. That's what spirit is talking about. Um, it'll it'll change your energy, okay? It'll change your energy. Um, it says hand fastings. It says hand fastings. The pools. The pools pulse through all that I am. No hidden form is left untouched. I am willing, I am risking, for I yearn for unity, spilled lustrosity upon my lips. Okay, so, I don't know, I guess you just want love. It might feel like everything is just crazy, just happening, like, just sporadically and just crazy, but, like, it ain't. <laughs> it's actually very, very... You know, 
calculated and laid out right there for you. It's just all you have to do is be willing to look. To be willing to erase what everybody taught you. You should think and learn for yourself. And on the count of three, go. <laughs> Very funny. And on the count of three, look, Stormy, this is what I'm saying. Some of you earth signs could be really feeling it right now, okay? Really having a hard time, okay? But you're more lucky than you realize you are. You're absolutely, totally lucky. <laughs> like, anything you put your mind to, you can achieve that. The only, like, this is the way that they get to you, okay? This is why shadow work is so important. This is how they get to you, through your own insecurities, through your own issues. That's why it's like, dig deep and learn who you are first. Look, growth. To grow in yourself is to protect yourself because there's no way, no angle now that somebody can get at you and fuck with you. Um, friendship. Maybe you want friends. That's what I heard. You want friends. OK. Or maybe there's some friends that are not friends that you need to get rid of. OK. Or that you have gotten rid of. You could just be like. OK. So somebody got into it like with a friend or someone close to them. And. Spirit is saying, like, when people are supposed to come back, they're supposed to come back. Sometimes they make people get away from you so those people can go and experience growth. It's not always about you. Um, yeah, karmic path. Some people are just walking a karmic path, okay? Sometimes they're just walking a karmic path and they got to pay for shit and, you know, do certain things that you just don't have to do. So if spirit separates you from them, it's for a damn good reason, okay? It says that you need to st make sure that you're staying grounded, staying anchored in, okay? Shifting whenever you need to, you know, in the spirit. <laughs> like, and start, your, you might be starting to remember your past lives, okay? Look, it says past life knowledge. <laughs> it says... It says past life knowledge. Okay, um, this is why this is why it's important to do research too. Okay, because the more research you do, it's like spirit starts eventually just you know putting it like me the way my gifts work. Spirit starts like like click that, <laughs> click that. Oh, go look at that, and I be finding out the most interesting shit. Okay, and I'm constantly cleansing my energy and showing gratitude to spirit, and I really have my boundaries intact. Okay, so that's what they're saying. These are the steps that these are the things that we should be look focus focused on. Okay, <laughs> in order to lift the veil, those are the things that you need to focus on. If you want to find true relief, okay, you have to have the courage to embrace the death or the endings of certain situations in order to you know um properly get into your divine masculine like purpose you know what i'm saying because it's really the divine masculine side of us that handles the business aspect of our lives you know but first spirit makes you um learn and embrace your feminine side okay so for the guys um, embrace your feminine side. It's, it's important to the balance of you, okay? And listen to your guides. They're trying to guide you through some sort of transformation. Look, Earth. <laughs> Look, Earth signs. They're trying to guide you through this transformation, okay? Don't freak out. Don't freak out at all, okay? They're igniting a fire within you. And so that's why it feels like, ah, oh, I burned. <laughs> For real. That's how it be like, ah, oh, this shit is terrible. Like, my dark night of the soul was horrible. It's like I went through, I went through a long ass dark night of the soul, bro. My dark night of the soul was long and it was hard and it was like nonstop shit when I was in it, you know. But I feel so good now. I feel so good for it. So it's worth it. Like, I, I will push this for to the end because that's what I came here to do to push this. It says a bear is of great support and comfort to those who crave human company simply for personal reassurance rather than for the simple pleasure of being with friends. He makes lonely periods of life far easier. Why did I read that again? It says, voila, prophecy, guidance, direction. Okay, so they're going to make, they're, because they're getting ready to make things a lot more easier for you, okay? 
like voila it's gonna come out of nowhere you're not gonna be expecting this okay it says king of the darkwood elves authority credibility and status okay so you're gonna have authority in some way over whatever it is your that lights you up you know you can have a business or whatever whatever it is that you do it says blood month, sacrifice offerings, decisions, okay? So maybe there's certain deci decisions you um, need to make. You know, you could be someone who sacrificed a lot of different things. I mean, we all make sacrifices, right? But Spirit's saying, like, whatever it is that you sacrifice in the name of God, bro, whatever you sacrifice in the name of God comes back to you a hundredfold, okay? Always. So you might feel like, oh, I lost my job. No, you didn't lose your job. <laughs> You were done with your job. It, you know, you, it was no longer serving you. That's what it is. You're the wizard, okay? You. It says rune king, wise one, counselor, which makes me want to pull a rune, okay? I'm going to pull a rune. But also, you should go look at some runes. Like, symbols are very activating to us. People don't really realize that, okay? But you're very wise. You're meant to just be like, abracadabra, and make your own shit. Like, you don't need anyone else to tell you what to do, you know? This is um, Othello, I think. I think it's how you say it. I don't know. Let me get the book. Don't, don't do it. I should keep talking like, <laughs> for this music. So it says, um, Othila is the rune of authority and responsibility, okay? It's associated with the clan, the family, and the nation. It represents patriotism, family loyalty, and proper respect for authority, law, established customs, hollow tradition, and devotion to a cause or religious path. Othila is therefore intimately connected with questions of identity. It's totally fine and normal to question, like, you know, who am I? Where am I going? That's the whole point of this life, you know, to search for more. People get stuck in their little cycles, their little corners, you know, stay in their little home in their same city forever. Like, oh, I am, I am so out of here, bro. I promise you. <laughs> Just give me a little, just like how I kept saying, oh, I need more cards. I need more cards. And I got all these cards. Okay. I'm out of here real soon. <laughs> so, um, the upright meaning of this rune is the rune is often present in a reading to suggest dynastic concerns, indicating a time when traditions become more valuable in life. Engagements, marriages, and births are one aspect of this. While dealing with wills and family property is another. In some cases, the rune may signify an inheritance, but this need not be anything material. In fact, it is more likely to be expressed in the characteristics you share with your ancestors and relatives. You may need to take advice from older people or from experienced professionals. And in addition, you are likely to find that you are asking yourself, what would this person have done in this situation exactly? You, you're at you're at a place where you're starting to like really look at everything from both sides, okay? And that's great, like. But sometimes that shit pisses you off because you really can't come up with a reason why people be doing shit. They just be doing shit because they haters, and there's you don't need to understand why. That's what spirit's saying. You don't need to fucking understand why they're doing it. You know what I mean? And like. These people, they're not they're not doing the same things that you're doing in those situations. They're not like, oh, well, maybe I did do something wrong or maybe I did like release whatever does not serve you. Any storms you run into, they're they're on purpose right now. It says by the time the influence of Othila is over you, you will have moved closer to your heritage and origins. It's like the more people you run into that try to knock you off your spiritual path, like the more it makes you be realize like no bitch you can't talk to me you can't talk to me this. you can't convince me that i shouldn't be doing this this is the right thing to do <laughs> you wrong go figure out what's up with you you know what i'm saying you can't it's not even like you're wrong it's just like i don't care i don't care what it is that you want to get into you know what i mean like i'm not trying to control nobody period <laughs> 
I'm just sharing the right way. And either people are with it or they're not because it's just for certain people. Just like when Jesus starts speaking parables and nobody really got it. They was like, what? No, get out of here. What are you talking about? This is the way that it's supposed to be. Why are you trying to do that? You know, <laughs> you have telepathy. Okay. Your telepathy works very well. You might hear pick up on people's conversations, you know, and really think you're playing. <laughs> I mean, I said really think you're playing because this one says dolphin play. Okay. You need to play. <laughs> you need to think about playing. Okay. But, um, also, um, you might feel like, um, your mind's playing tricks on you. Okay. And it's not your, your mind's not playing tricks on you. You're rooted in light and you're gifted. Okay. And you're just feeling it. And like they, they were talking about, you're coming into, you're going through a transformation right now. You're, you're breaking away from the karmic path that you were on. Okay. And it can be rough. It's, you know, it's like, like, I'm really seeing like the rockets going up in space, you know, how they do on the movies, okay? <laughs> when that that one piece breaks away, you know, and then it's just the part that's going to help them survive and like fly around in space, okay? <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like you don't you're you're the parts that you don't need are like burning off and breaking away, okay? Becoming space junk is what I heard. You're just getting rid of all the extra junk so that you can actually, you know, thrive. Why is this playing again? And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. This was just fucking playing, and I find that weird. <laughs> For real. I find that weird. It says a rich girl, okay? Because I have thousands of songs on my Spotify. It never does this. I've never been in love like this. A love like ours. I pray for it on my knees. Maybe you just met somebody that you love, okay? Somebody that's of high honor. You're definitely of high honor. Don't settle. Don't settle because you, you got a soulmate, yo. Somebody you're supposed to walk a long road with, okay? <laughs> Um, but also you've kind of you've come a very long way and you need to give yourself credit for that and just like healing does not have a certain time frame where it's supposed to happen okay <laughs> and um only you are can, in control of any murky thoughts that may come up okay stop like stop don't naysay yourself okay I always tell people like don't put yourself down like other people don't need help shitting on you oh <laughs> like don't help other people shit on you. That's stupid. Just uh, up yourself, okay? And then you're going to notice, like, because you notice the more you do negative self-talk, the more you run into people who talk to you like that, too. For real. To the point where it's, like, normal to you. And then once you break out of this shit, you'll be, like, looking around like, these people got me fucked up. These people got me fucked up for sure. So give yourself some time, okay? Once you get your mind right, that's when you're going to run into this this partner that you're going to marry, okay? I mean, not to disrespect anyone and, like, assume your mind isn't right, but there's obviously something spirit has you waiting on, okay? Something they're clearing out or upgrading in you, okay, that will have you straight up in hermit mode, okay? <laughs> and hermit mode is a good place to be, okay? You need tunnel vision. You need tunnel vision to receive the big luck, okay, to really... Um, progress you really need to really pay attention really have expectations you know what I'm saying high expectations for yourself so that God can multiply that high expectation that you have okay this is how you manifest you that you be an outlaw okay look the outlaws don't do shit how people think you should be doing it okay this song is outlawed by Arisa Carey she said run because you're good to your skin of saying run because I know we'll win. We know together we kill time. You never face the judge without me. You'll never battle the gavel alone. And if they lock us away, then I'll be still here proudly waiting to kill more time with you. We'll be outlaws. We'll take on the world. We'll be outlaws. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. It say occupation. <laughs> they don't want to pay you to be an outlaw. What's up? Look, it says a meeting. Like, let's have a meeting. Let's talk about this. 
Let's talk about the next steps. Look, it'll be life with the funeral card in reverse, okay? It will be life for you. What you want to do? Like, spirit is courting you right now, and they're helping you through your grief and sorrow because they want you to expect the best, okay? Yeah, there's false people. There's false people around, and um, that's sad news, you know, but fuck that. <laughs> you, you're respecting success and love and with the good Lord, okay? You're going on a journey, and you're special. You're important, okay? You're important, all right? Period. I might call you. I might I might call it that. Earth signs, you guys are important. Like, I tip my hat to y'all. You, you're so important, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. If I was in your way, okay? I'm done. You guys have a fabulous, wonderful, an amazing day. And I will see you later, okay? I got to do three more signs. Bye.